Hi folks. This is a very quick tutorial on how to use the very basic autopilot system that the MI24P Hind has in DCS. So uh, before we go for takeoff, I'll just mention a couple of things you're probably going to need to bind first. I'm just going to hide my controls. So here's our autopilot system down here and our SAS system. So let's go over the, the components you're going to need to uh, play with today. First off, you're going to need to bind a button for enable root mode and the other one for disengage autopilot. Basically disengages the autopilot root mode or auto hover if you're on. And the other buttons you're going to need to bind are um, altitude hold, uh, enable and disable. So that's this button and this one here. You can look it up in the controls. And the other thing that you have um, other control applicable for the autopilot system is this heading indicator here. Uh, I can't see a bind. Oh. Suddenly went weirdly colored there. Thank you, DCS, and your awesome lighting engine. Um, so uh, this is your course heading, basically where you want to go. So let's have a wee look at what we're going to do today. So we're just going to take off. We're going to fly for a little bit from Aleppo, and we're going to head down to. Yeah, we'll go to, to back. So let's get a rough course where that is. That's about 113. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll set it to the 113 before I take off. Now it's not actually enabled right now, but this is just presetting the course that I'm going to want to go on. There we go. So let's take off. And we're going to take off, trim the aircraft, point it roughly at the direction where we want to go, and then we'll engage the autopilot system. Okay, we'll break off. We're going to do a rolling takeoff. Tap the do a rolling takeoff. So a couple of observations, uh, I know there's no documentation for this, so I'm just playing around with this and trying to work it out myself, is that I was trying and playing around with this earlier on, and I noticed that if you're going really stupidly fast, like 300 uh, kmph, and you try to engage the rip mode, it kind of doesn't engage sometimes. It goes, engages for like a few seconds and then goes out, so I don't know if there's some limitation on how fast you can go and then engage it or not. So I'm trying to bring his speed up to about 250. Now, try a wee bit of trim in here. Okay, so aircraft's roughly trimmed out, not going up or down. Just check our course again. Yeah, that's 113 roughly, so that's good. So, let's engage the rip mode. And then we will engage the altitude hold. So, we're just going to turn around onto the course. And that's it. That's all you need to do. Just get her trimmed out, activate the rip mode, and then altitude hold. And she'll fly herself. She can go and, you know make a cup of tea or whatever, go and take a pee or whatever and uh, she'll fly herself toward the target. And that's it, it's really that simple. Like I say, there was something funky about me trying to engage it in and around about 300 kmph where it would flick on and then off, but at this speed it seems fairly consistent. So when you're coming up to your target area, then you can just press your disengage button here for the root mode and then disengage for the altitude hold, hold and take uh, Take over manual control. So that's it. It's pretty simple. Hope it helps.